Catherine Mazzoni, a dressmaker based at Gatherai 44, and her fiancé, Peter Shege, a factory messenger at Eden Tea, subscribe to the Akorino faith. And our curiosity of their faith and Akorino weddings got the better of us. <laughs> Ni Tukiwa watoto wandogo, mi ni kuwa na ficha yangu, si kuwa na taa kufaa. Na uge wauliza wage, wage, wage sema, mi ndi entakuwa wakwanza kuitoa. Lakini nilifika mahali nikajua maana ya ki, kilemba. Kwa hivyo, si geweza kuitoa. Na diyo maana nikonayo hapa. Imenisaidia mahali kuingi sana. In fact, when I was in secondary school, ningekuwa kuvuta bangi. Ningeivuta laudio, lakini nilikuwa naona. Kos, venye tulikuwa tunatebea na wao, walikuwa watu wakola. In fact, hata nilikuwa nafukuzo wa shule juu ya wao. Tu. Lakini ni, tukifanya, ma, nini, tukifanya makosa, ama tuseme tunafika mahali sasa wanaenda kufuta bangi. Kuna masori mi najiuliza. Kwa nini nienda nikafute bangi, na nikona ki, lemba kwa kicho. Kwa hivyo, Nikakuwa kaa najua maana yake. Maana ya kilemba. You know, in those, wakati, hata wakati wa Yesu, kilemba ilikuwa. Do you know that? Usha wa isikia hivu. Ama tu uliona tu, uli zariwa tu, kakua ukawana tu wakorinu. Ok. Maana ya kilemba, inaonyesha uyo mtu ni mtakatifu. If you happen to see Amokorino mwenye anavuta bangi, anakunywa pombe, ujio uyo siyo mkorino. Iyo ni mfano ya mkorino. So, hii kitu huwa inaonyesha, inaonyesha na utakatifu. And Akorino weddings are high energy affairs in themselves. I don't, I don't see any difference with others. The difference with Akorino, it is better to tell you, the difference with Akorino, ikifika sasa ni mahali, sasa ni wibo, hapo sasa we have the difference. On our case, we have dancers, kanyo watakuwa, utakuwa na waibaji. Back to our love story. As fate would have it, their faith brought them together. Kwa tunashiriki kanisa monja na ye. So, tuseme mambo ilianzia tu hapo. Siku moja, nika patana na huyu msichana tukiwa kwa kanisa na nikaamua mi mwenyewe ni mchokoze. But this would take almost a year for Catherine to agree to his advances. And again, as fate would have it, both being lovers of dancing, a dance proposal at a mutual friend's wedding would finally soften her heart towards him. And after a series of meetings and phone conversations, Peter would finally propose to her. But one day, I decided to meet with her. Na nikamuambia kuje, mahali, diyo tuonge. Na wakati yalikuja, tuliogea, na nikamuuliza kama anaweza kubali ni muwe. Naye ni kama alikuwa na gojea cos wakati wa kukata Still ahead it's music and drums as two couples lovers of music and dance say I do And speaking of wedding committees Peter and Catherine have also enlisted family and friends to help them raise finances for their wedding The total budget I think was 200,000 
They recently had their pre-wedding event where they managed to raise 100,000 Kenya shillings. Pre-weddings are a common feature in Kenyan weddings to help engage couples to raise funds for their weddings. Uh, we have wageni, guests, when you have a kuwa wame, wame leta pesa zao by pre-wedding. Some of them washa tu maizo pesa, zimeongezeka. With Peter keeping a close eye on the budget, they had to forgo some items from their original budget, like the evening party, to accommodate what monies they had in hand. Right now, to the to the evening, of which na zakuwa na yo, cause ya mungu huwa ajurikani na zaida tu pate pesa mali kuingine. There is another life after wedding, so copa very difficult to easy. Akin to as a patana na was a Maria Wema. Not to say indeed. A wise decision indeed, we must concur. Working in their favor though, they have managed to secure Steema Members Club as the venue for their wedding, where they will have both the ceremony and reception. For one, the to viva kwa mfuko. Secondly, it is a nice place, cool and not so secure. That is why we decided to we decided to choose that place. And for just thirty thousand shillings, the venue will provide tables, chairs, and decor for their wedding. They have also managed to secure an independent caterer to feed their four hundred guests.